for all you new people. I only have one rule. Everyone fights. No one quits. If you don't do your job, I'll kill you myself. Welcome to the Roughnecks. Rico's Roughnecks! <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome once again to another episode of Rico's Roughnecks. I am Dio Rico, Dio Rico 2 if you follow me on PSN. And you know, I just wanted to say that, you know, I hope everybody out there is having a great day. Uh, I, I, I know I've mentioned in the past that I, uh, I go to school and I work two jobs. Uh, today is actually the only day that I've had off uh, all this week. And as busy as I was trying to run errands and do laundry and make phone calls and whatnot, it has just been... It has just been a great day for me. Uh, I went swimming, had some, had a nice dinner. Uh, my, I know my arms are going to be sore tomorrow just because I, it's been, I haven't swam all summer, and I can't remember the last summer that I, that I actually did swim. So uh, that's going to be a, a, a good hurt tomorrow morning. <laughs> um, the topic that I wanted to bring to you today, uh, ironically, because even though I have the day off from work, is about work. Um, I again, I work two jobs. The one of the jobs that I have is in retail uh, with a tool company, and the other one is in fast food. I have been in the fast food business for a long time. I've actually, with all the ones that all the places that I've worked at, they probably combined to a total of like eight years or so, almost ten, uh, somewhere in between there. And uh, yeah, I've pr pretty much seen uh, every every kind of scenario you can think of regarding co-workers regarding management regarding customers and it just never you know nothing ever changes and it's there are some scenarios uh that i would just love to see go away especially with with um fast food uh those of us that those of you that do know what it's like to work in fast food you know give you gotta give yourself like a little pat on the back because it is i've worked every single job just about uh out there i've worked security i've worked data entry I've been I was a teacher for a couple of years um, as an assistant director uh, for a mar for a marching band program um, yeah I've just I've one warehouse work I've done I've done a lot of things and fast food by far is the most draining on a mental um, emotional physical it just covers all of its bases as far as just ways to make you go insane and part of that not part of it most of it is the customers you do have the co-workers that kind of give you trouble but the customers man they're just some you know what hold on i gotta i gotta i gotta pause for a second because if i keep on going in the tone that i'm going right now it's gonna sound really negative and it's just gonna be it's just gonna sound like a bad message so i'm gonna change it up i'm gonna go into my one of my character voices right now just because if i'm gonna be joking around about it and i'm gonna be sarcastic if i do it in that light it's just going to sound a little bit better coming from him. So uh, immediately, the very first scenario that I can think of, it's it's always having to do with the the drive through, uh, drive through lanes and the drive through corners and pay windows and everything. Uh, just because there just always seems to be a lot of drama that takes place there. I mean, you have in the summertime it's always hot, in the wintertime it's cold. When it's raining, it's always very hard to hear because you have just all these different factors that build into this stressful kind of position and uh, the one thing that kind of sets I could be in the best mood ever and the one thing that just really ruins that for me is when a passenger will lean over the driver to place their order and because I just I don't understand and the only way I can think to really present it is through my character and and he might say it's something like oh so you're uh, you're a big man aren't you yeah yeah, you don't you don't like ordering for yourself, do you? Yeah, yeah, you like having your girls like chew up your food and make sure it's all nice and clean and cut for you, don't you? Yeah, yeah, you're a rebel. You're such a bad boy. Yeah, you you people want you to order for yourself at the big old drive-through box, but you will have none of it, will you? Yeah, yeah, you're so big and strong. <laughs> That's the only way I can think to present it, because it's ridiculous. If you just man up. Say what you want. Don't let other people like take down, take down a list of what the pe other people want instead of having them try to talk over you or try to peek their head out through the window. If you just do that, it'll go along so much faster. You'll be able to get everything done. Less frustration, less headache. It's just better all the way around. Um, and by the sound of the music, I am out of time. So uh, I will touch more on this topic a little bit later. Sorry, the video is so short. Again, it's pretty much an onslaught. So. Uh, 
yeah, I will uh, talk more about work in the next episode and uh, talk to you guys later. Peace. Would you like to know more?